What is up guys? Welcome to my weight loss journey and today I'm going to share with you my results from month three but I'm also going to share some free tools. I know I usually share all kinds of different things that I've been using to lose weight but these are all free tools, free apps. So I'm going to share those with you and hopefully they can help you in your journey. So let's get started. If you like videos about losing weight, weight loss, or making money, make sure you subscribe to this channel so you can get all of our updates. So I guess I'll start with my results for the uh, month. I only lost uh, three pounds this month, which isn't great, but it's not horrible. But it is less than a pound a week. But I think my body's getting to that point where, you know, I'm kind of hitting a plateau and it doesn't really, ooh, it doesn't really want to lose weight. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing, and you know, a pound a week, a little less than a pound a week. I'm not gonna get frustrated by it because the fact of the matter is, if I do that for a year. I'm going to be at the weight that I need to be at. So hopefully this is helpful to somebody else and encourage somebody. Um, give me a thumbs up if you want to shoot me a little bit of encouragement. And now let me talk about the apps that I have on my phone that are helping me with this. And again, they're all free apps. And so I encourage you to download them if you have an iPhone. That's what I have. If you don't have an iPhone, there's probably something similar, maybe even the same apps for your Android or whatever device that you have. All right, for those of you that have been watching me for a little while, so you already know, I kind of think better when I'm walking, so I'm just gonna kind of pace around my house, but let me think. The first one that I use is a keto tool, and that's what I track my carbs on, and that tool is awesome because like, I'm not following the keto diet. However, I am, trying to keep my carbs low so you just put in your um, foods that you're eating and it tracks the number of carbs that you're eating and then what's cool about that is you can have favorites in there so you know one of my favorite salads is the chick-fil-a salad um, so I get that one probably three times a week and the carbs aren't too high on it it works I still am losing weight so uh, that's something that I recommend and then another tracker that I use is a weight loss tracker and that's what I track. I only use it when I'm putting in my weight. So once a week as I as I put my information into there and I weigh myself and I try to stay off the scale during the week because I don't want to get myself too excited and then have a real low if I end up gaining a couple pounds after I weighed low or way high and then it's it's just an off day. So I try to weigh once a week and um that's what I would recommend. And then I also use this walking app. I don't really know what it's called, but I'll put it on the screen. And it tracks my step. I guess you could call it a step app. So it tracks my steps um, all day long. It's always on. If you go on a run, it tracks them. But when I'm at work, it tracks them. And then I can kind of look and see how many steps am I getting every day. Or if I have a day where I felt like I walked a lot, I can check. And uh, or if I go on a walk. So sometimes that's great because walking is a very low impact way that you can keep burning calories and keep burning some fat especially if you do get into the ketosis range, like if your meter says that you're in ketosis, um, a lot of times when I come home, because I do intermittent fasting for most of the day usually, and when I come home, I try to fit my workout in before I have my dinner. That way I'm calling on the fat stores in my body to get energy um, instead of giving my body some energy to break down and then doing my workout. So I try to do it in that order. I, assume that it helps I'm not positive so that's my weight loss journey update make sure that you like subscribe and comment and I'll see you on the next video